week, another Sunday, and another video with on my channel. I'm super excited for this video. It's gonna be heavily focused on modest fashion hacks that you can use on your day-to-day -day life just to make your life easier because obviously dressing modestly isn't the easiest thing, especially if you live outside of like Middle Eastern countries. Um, where modesty is not really the first thing people think of when producing fashion pieces. Um, so this video is going to have some hacks that I've compiled over the years that I use on a daily basis to make my life easier. So hopefully this video can add a lot of value to, to your day-to-day -day life and you start remembering me when you do these hacks because I know that uh, they're gonna be super useful. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share in the co comments what you think about these hacks and which ones you guys are going to be using. See you guys. My first hack is gonna be invest in slip skirts. And what I mean by slip skirts is you can use these skirts uh, under um, any skirts that you have that are unlined or see-through or have holes. Um, and they're super important because you know, sometimes you have a skirt and you really like it, but it's see-through and um, you just don't end up buying it because obviously it's see-through, not modest. Um, so if you have these, uh, it is super useful. So I got one in black, one in white, um, depending on the color of the skirt that I'm wearing. Um, and I also use it sometimes for dresses because some dresses are see-through just from the bottom. Um, and not from the top, they're lined from the top and see-through from the bottom. I have a skirt that I bought from Greece that was like that, and uh, sorry, a dress that was like that, and I was so upset because I didn't notice that in the shop. I came back and it was just see-through from down, um, and then I just, it was a black dress, so I ended up using this from down and it was perfect. Um, so yeah, a hack within a hack, as you can notice. I bought these both from Amazon, I'll link them down below. But as you can see, one is shorter than the other and it's because um, they're actually very long and um, I don't obviously want it to show from the bottom so I just cut it. Um, I cut it up <laughs> uh, on my own with scissors because you know it doesn't have to be perfect because no one's going to see it. Um, they're supposed to be unseen. Um, so yeah, I cut it off myself. So don't be afraid to use your scissors and cut your um, slip skirts if needed if they're too long because I'm short um, so maybe for longer girls this is the length is perfect but for me it was um, yeah it was too long moving on um, so this is this hack I love this hack so much it's made my life so much easier um, especially in summer in the past when I used to have something that was v-neck uh, or just a lower neck in general and I had to wear um, something under it to cover up. I used to wear a long sleeve um, shirt because I had no other option um, because those tend to be higher necks. And then I discovered these Zara um, tank tops where I would just flip them and wear them backwards. And this way I get the full modesty coverage from the front and still able to wear something that's open, v-neck, um, and they basically make them in every single color and are very affordable. Another tip that works perfectly well, um, and this I think only works in winter or fall, is to wear midi skirts with boots. This way you can enjoy a midi skirt that isn't full length um, in the winter time and still be able to wear it and, you know, pair it with different colored boots. Um, and as I said, it only works in the winter. Okay guys, so another amazing tip is a lot of the times you're shopping online, you're shopping in person, you like a top a lot, but you can't seem to think that it's gonna be modest because it's either too short um, and the length isn't, isn't modest. Obviously we each have our own guidelines to how long we want something to be to be able to wear it with pants. Um, anyways, so let's say you have this uh, top that you're trying to buy. It might not be long enough to cover you know, the backside. So what I always do is I always um, order something in a bigger size. So for example, if your size 
was originally medium you would go two sizes up and buy an extra large and it will just look like an oversized um, jumper that you're wearing and thankfully nowadays oversized is actually a nice thing to be wearing so it looks very fashionable it covers the areas that you want to be covered and you end up looking fashionable as well another tip that i have is to buy white leggings um, i'm currently wearing them now but what buy white leggings and i'll show you some pictures of um of when i've worn white leggings and you wear these leggings if you have white pants or any pants that are see-through or not lined especially white linen pants are usually not lined and they're quite annoying and then you can't wear them because it just ruins the vibe it's not the best thing to wear um so uh yes whenever you have any white linen pants or any type of pants that are see-through you can just wear these white leggings right under them and it will look lined nothing will show and you can just still look beautiful the way you are um, but just with an extra layer sometimes people don't like that and don't prefer to have like several layers i personally don't mind it especially if it's a, like a, a lightweight um legging which i do have um so it just doesn't bother me and and yeah it, and then it just makes my outfit seamless guys another tip that i have that i found amazing and obviously could be self-explanatory could be something you guys already do but i bought this dress it's an amazing dress so nice i saw it at the shop i loved it but it had two huge slits um on each side um, and i couldn't wear it so what i did is i went to the tailor and i got the slits closed let me see if i can find oh yeah here are where the slits originally were um, and it just doesn't show anymore it's closed and modest um, i love this dress a lot i wear this in the summer in the winter what i do is i can still wear it and then wear a white jumper on top so it looks like it's a skirt um, and it st still looks really nice so yeah um but any any slits or slits obviously that can be closed sometimes it will just make your outfit look a bit tight so obviously don't do that but for any flowy dresses that you see any slits in and you still really like it it won't cost a lot to just go to the tailor and ask them to get it closed here in london i got it um closed for 15 pounds and then um same thing if you have anything that was a v-neck and is quite loose you can still get that closed as well thankfully this one had buttons so um, i didn't need to do anything from the top one thing that I get upset about a lot of the times, which will take me to the next hack, is that because I wear a hijab, now it doesn't really apply because it's tucked in. But most of the time, you guys know how I wear my hijab. It's like a jersey that I put over my shoulders, so it covers a lot of this area. I can't wear a lot of the necklaces, don't show, um, because you know they're, they're too short, they don't extend that long. So a hack that I've learned is if I have, for example, let's say I wanted to wear this necklace. Um, I wanted to wear this necklace, but it was too short. What I do is I get another bracelet and I connect the bracelet with the necklace. And I tailor it to the length that I want it to be. So I connected it from this side. All I need to do now is connect it from the other side, which I shall do right now. And voila, I have a long necklace that shows and it looks beautiful. Um, and yeah, it, it just works like that. If you have a long hijab that covers a lot of this area, um, this hack works really nicely. I love it. And yeah, uh, I usually have one, neck, one bracelet, sorry, that I don't usually wear that I connect, use as a connector to um, my necklaces, for my necklaces. And now for my final and last hack of the day is I started looking out for long sleeve mini dresses. And I say mini dresses for a reason. Don't look for obviously just short dresses that are uh, over the knee or whatever. They need to be mini dresses for them to look really nice. This is a great example of a short mini dress that I found at Zara. And um, I picked it up, I decided to uh, wear it modestly, 
um, as you've seen in my last videos and it looks so nice with paired with white pants and some boots I love it so much so that's all for today I hope you enjoyed the, the video I hope you found it useful I actually spoke from my heart and from my experiences so um, I hope I at least gave you one thing that you took away from this video um, as always don't forget to like share subscribe it massively helps and I'll see you guys next week for a brand new video bye